Did you hear that crunch? That crunch is, that's, that's how you know. Hi friends. Thank you for joining me. It's another gorgeous day in Crete. Today, I am in the region of Rethymno, in the city of Rethymno. I've heard so many great things about the food in this region, so I had to come out here and try it for myself. I had to start my day with some freshly brewed coffee, so I went to Brew Your Mind right here in the Old Town. They're a specialty coffee shop and specialty coffee school. That means that there's a lot of expertise going on in there. I got myself a cold brew because it started out a little cold this morning, but now it's getting hot. That's excellent. So refreshing, fruity. This is their specialty roast that they make in-house, and they've got coffees from all around the world. This is great, the perfect start to my day. I'm working up a hunger, but as I'm walking through these old town streets, you cannot help but notice all the history and the cultures throughout every single street and corner. You see the influences of Venetian, the Ottoman Turks, and even the Egyptians. For example, this lighthouse right behind me built in the 1800s when the Egyptians ruled in Rethymno. This bakery has all of their goods right up on the window when you walk up and it smells like fresh baked buttery pastries. Check this out. Look how flaky that is. This is mushroom and peppers. Wow, look at the layering in this pastry. Oh my God, it's so buttery. It smells divine. Mushroom and peppers and flaky crust. Look at, first, look at this. I love doing that. Okay. Incredible. Incredible. The vegetables are layered throughout the pastry. So you have like doughy pastry, mushrooms, and peppers. Look how juicy that is in the center there. And then you have the dough marbling through in between the mushroom and peppers. And outside it's so crispy. It might be made with olive oil. I'm not entirely sure because a lot of pastries here are made with olive oil instead of butter. Mm. Mm. Wow. One more and then I want to try the apple one. Mm. Did you hear that crunch? That crunch is... That's, that's how you know. The other pastry I got was a sweet one. This is like an apple pie strudel almost. Look at that. The pastry is a little bit thicker. The apple in there, you can smell the cinnamon. Look at that, how gooey and beautiful and glossy that is. Mm. Wow. The apple is so good. The cinnamon, the juiciness of that apple jam. The apple's diced in small little cubes, so it doesn't pull. You just get a perfect amount of apple in every bite. The crust is kind of just like the crust on the outside of a croissant. And then it's doughy and soft on the inside. This is warm, fresh out of the oven this morning. When you walk up to the window, you can see the guy cutting the pastries out from the giant baking sheets that they're in. So cool. You can tell they probably are up at 3 a.m. and get everything ready because this is extremely fresh. This is heaven. And you don't need this for dessert. Like, seriously, have it any time of day. Please come here. Oh my god. We've spent 10 months in Europe. I have been a pastry chef for 15 years. Those are the best pastries I've ever had. Might I say, maybe Rethymno is known for their bakeries because I've seen other ones that look really good, but that by far should make this place known for its bakeries. That is the best bake shop I've ever been to. Alright, so those pastries were heavy, not really hungry yet. We've been walking around Old Town and doing a little bit of window shopping. We stopped at Bonobos, which has uh, some really good cocktails and craft beers. Crete actually has really good craft beers. So one I haven't tried yet is the Jasmine IPA from Strange Brew Brewery. And this is it right here. It looks thirst quenching. It is definitely an IPA and it's delicious. All right, tucked away in the 
the old alleys. You have this wonderful place, it's called Stella's Kitchen. They tell you what they've cooked for the day and then you choose from that. Pork stifado, the cinnamon, you know. Okay. Green beans, araca, yeah. this is peas. Okay. Rice, last pork chops, giant beans, some pasticcio, small orizo, any meat it goes, spinach and rice, cauliflower, stamagathi, the wild ones, and the last of the beef. My dish has arrived. It is like the perfect, I couldn't ask for anything better, home style cooking. By the way, they make everything from scratch here, but like here in a family member's home. I have their Greek potatoes, large beans, peas and green beans, and their chicken, which is like a sesame, honey, kind of sweet chicken. If you look at the plate, you see all the jus sitting at the bottom of the plate. So everything is like swimming in flavors and juices. I'm going in for the chicken first. I got a leg and the thigh, which is the best part. Get some of that jus in there. Oh boy, it's just falling apart in my fork. <laughs> okay. Wow. There's only a light hint of sweetness. It's just a touch for flavoring and dimension. It's braised, slow cooked. It's fantastic. I'm gonna try a little bit of this potato. Mm, wonderful. The beans with some carrots. Mm. I love these giant beans. Oh my God. The green beans and the peas. Mm. Fantastic. Fresh, fresh peas and beans. Mm, so good with the chicken. They really did a great job of assembling this dish for me. It's awesome. This is Andres's dish that they put together. Rice and greens, pork and leek, wild greens, kind of like spinach, collard greens style. Here is the orizo with tomato sauce and beef. Let's go in with this pork and leeks first. Oh wow, look how that breaks apart. It's really good. The leeks and the pork together and this kind of like very light juiciness. Mm. Let me try these wild greens. It's kind of like an arugula. Mm. Mm. They're good. That's like a wild bitter green. It tastes very healthy. <laughs> this is one of Andres's favorite dishes that his grandmother makes. It's beef and the orso in a tomato sauce. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I see why. That's fantastic. The beef is tender. The oil is so perfect. Not too tight in the construction. It's very loose, kind of like rice. Mm. The rice and greens. Oh, looks like a risotto. A little softer on the rice, like a short grain rice. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. I want you to smell these flowers. Yes. This is wild. They brought me this today from the village and it's so smelly. Oh, wow. Thank you. You cannot you so find much. it anymore, but smell it, yes. please. Because I see that. Wow. Oh, and they smell so fragrant. It's like you're sticking your nose in a bowl of perfume. This is amazing. Wow. Those roses were a perfect palate cleanser for this rice. Mm. That's like the filling of a stuffed grape leaf. The lemony, the rice juiciness, like a dolmade. Wow. For dessert, they brought us a cake portocali that is orange cake. Look how beautiful. Oh, how springy. The sponge is kind of like a pound cake. Mm, moist. Mm. Mm. That is a portocalo. Beautiful orange cake. Mm. Mm. I just bit into a little bit of zest. So good. Perfect caramelized crust. Mm. 
That was an amazing lunch. Words cannot express how wonderful that experience was. The home-cooked meals, chatting with Stella and Stavros, her son, who also owns the place. You really feel like you're in Stella's home. You're sitting in her kitchen one moment and you're enjoying her food and the next moment you're sitting in her living room and you're learning about her, where she comes from. It's just absolutely wonderful and enlightening. Alright, you guys know Greek yogurt is everything in Greece and in Crete as well. I got a Greek yogurt smoothie from Gelato It Meets Love here in the Old Town. I got their tropical Greek yogurt smoothie with pineapple, kiwi, and uh, chia seeds. So very tropical flavors. Pineapple too. Mm, super refreshing. It tastes almost like a breakfast yogurt bowl. So it's perfect after our wonderful home cooked meal. We're in the village of Argirupolis, a town about 25 minutes outside of Rethymno city center, but still in the Rethymno region. We're up in the mountains right now, and we're at Taverna Arkea Lapa, which translates to Ancient Lapa Tavern. This village is known to have the best lamb in all of Crete, so we're here to try the lamb Anticristo. I can't wait, let's go check it out. Lamb Anticristo is given the namesake because of the style in which it's cooked. Literally across the fire, the lamb is slow cooked over fire and basted in salt throughout the cooking process and that way it almost becomes cured and allows it to become crisp while it's slow cooking as well. The taverna will normally cook a batch for the day. Here the lamb has already been cooked and you can see it's in the pans here being kept hot and fresh in the stone oven. Now they also grill pork over the open fire here as well. I wish I had enough room in my stomach to fit that but I had to try the lamb so that's what we're gonna have today. This is also a carbonated drink called gazoza. It's pretty much a Cretan Sprite. So I haven't seen it on many menus. I'm gonna try it here. It smells fruity like a bubble gum almost. Mm, that's good. Super carbonated, nice and like strong bubbles. That's good. I read that it's like a like a Sprite. It doesn't really taste like Sprite. It's kind of like its own thing. Oh, almost like um, if you've heard of like Inca Cola or Jupiña, it tastes kind of more like that but clear instead of the yellow or the orange. Where else do they give you olive oil as a condiment on the table. In America, you have ketchup and mustard. In Greece, they give you olive oil. Oftentimes, it's olive oil that's produced not very far from the location in which you're eating it. Look at that golden goodness. Wow. You can smell how fresh and extra virgin this olive oil is. Mm. Wow. Wow. That is a nice pungent olive oil. I'm totally an olive oil snob now. Now that we had a tour through an olive oil mill at Terracreta olive uh, oil, I totally am looking for certain aromas and flavors. Look at this. What a gorgeous dish of fresh roasted lamb. Look how beautiful and crisp that outer layer of the lamb is. Wow. Oh my, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> this is gonna be incredible. I already know it. Wow. I'm just going in with my fingers. I'm not even using a fork right now. <laughs> it's so sticky. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Best lamb I've ever had. Juicy, salty, caramelly. It's like the actual meat has just begun to melt, almost dissolve. Mm. And then it's sprinkled with oregano on top just before serving and you can taste that because the lamb is hot and it starts to extract the aroma of oregano just as it's hitting your table. Amazing. It's, it really is almost like cured roasted lamb, which is very hard to achieve but it is seasoned perfectly and that's allowed the meat to kind of dehydrate and cure during the cooking process while it's sitting over the fire. Amazing. Let's squeeze some of this lemon juice over it. I want to get it on the fries too. I'm so happy right now. 
Those are hot. <laughs> wow. Mm. Amazing. And then you're looking out onto this beautiful scenery. The mountains, stone, just on the way up here you see sheep and goats and then you see the beaches and the greenery, the vegetation. This area in specific has a lot of vegetation because they do have a lot of water. There are actually a ton of natural springs and waterfalls that we may not get to see today because night is falling but they are definitely here and it's pretty much the only place in Crete where you can find these beautiful natural springs and waterfalls. There's so much flavor even in the bone. There's like these little pieces that you can pull off. So good. From here. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. You get a little part where it's like extra salty. The meat is like extra melty. It was probably like in the corner of the pan or something. Oh, this is like the perfect bite. You have a little bit of meat. And on the other side you have some skin and it's bubbly and crispy. Mm. The, the grease, the fat just like squishing out. It's like liquid. Your meal is never truly finished in Greece. As it usually happens, we ask for the bill and they bring us dessert and raki, which is always a little bit more raki than you actually need. <laughs> these are these nice little baklava pastries. Every restaurant always has a little something different. Mm, this smells good. Mm, very soft. Mm. It's a more sesame. It's got a lot of sesame seeds in there, wrapped in the filo. It's really good. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It has been an amazing day eating with you guys through this wonderful region of Rethimno. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to support our channel. I can't wait to keep making more food videos with you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. We're in the village of Argiropolis. We're in the village of Argi... Argirupolis. We're in the village of Argi. We're in the village of Argirupolis.